technology. or whatever um and they basically take the body and just the body none of the parts that actually make it drive or anything but just the body they cut off all the rest and they basically throw it away and they make a go-kart with you know parts around their shop and a dirt bike engine underneath the body so the body is like the shell that they start with and then they build everything off of that um and they call it cinder ella and it, it's fucking awesome these guys are just the rowdiest fucking sandiest dudes in the history of sandy dudes and i fucking love them a lot so we're gonna watch this hour-long video i guess um and yeah enjoy the video and that's awesome. how you tow a seven thousand pound military vehicle with a 200 pound electric power wheel this is how you build a sleeper power wheels that looks like your average bear, but just isn't in five easy steps. By the end of this video, you'll be going 60 plus miles an hour and towing military vehicles. Let's get started. Dude, towing military vehicles? Whoa. What the fuck? We got uh, a small space with a lot of toys, and this is one of the bigger toys of its nature this yet so this right this right here um this right here is the uh the barbie camper they made a uh another one out of the barbie camper and as you can see like over here right and all of this these bars and stuff they went all fucking out for this one and this one was actually really fucking cool but you can see the um air filter over there with the exhaust pipe uh the actual fucking tires over here uh, their steering wheel with the the uh, the button, the push to start equipment over here, a fucking seatbelt, an actual seat. They fucking go yeah, all out with these biggest. builds. You've been working on full size vehicles for too long. We got to make another miniature one, right? Oh, hold on. There's a lag, and I can fix that lag. It just takes literally, and. I'm done. There you go. Oh, I think this is the biggest box we've ever received here. And would you just look at what's inside of it? Look at that! This is oh. the largest Power Wheel style toy that you can buy on the internet. Uh huh. And we're gonna put that electric motor and this battery in it. Which may not look like much, but these equal a whole lot more torque than a Honda 450 engine. This Damn. is like 18,000 watts of power. And more importantly, we're just hooking this up to the stock drivetrain and see what happens. It's a two-seater. Look at the seats. They're like actual seats. What the fuck? So the very first step that they always do in these builds is they just build the toy and they fucking send the toy just as is. For Cinderella, uh, they have this bomb ass fucking hill and they took it to the hill. And I'll, as I'll put that specific video in the description down below, but they go to this hill, right? And they send it and they fucking topple the damn thing over. And it's funny as hell. Um, but when they build the body of it, right? Which I won't put that video in the description i'll just put the first one and then you can watch the playlist actually i'll put the playlist out of that you can watch all the videos in the playlist but um when they build the body of it right they send that fucker down like butter that hill is bumpy as shit and this was like if there was snow on the hill and everything like butter they had a cross arm suspension system and it was fucking awesome but back to the video it's got a metal chassis and actual rubber tires. Not a super beefy, but beefy enough that we can hook up some real power to it and just roast it. And then once we completely destroy the stock chassis and drivetrain, you know, axles and all of that, 
we can build a better chassis for it for off-road purposes or whatever we decide to do. It has an actual key? Yeah, look. <laughs> I'm so dopey today, I don't know why. There's a rip stick! I kid you not! There is a parking brake. There's a fucking that parking amazing. brake. That's amazing, that's my favorite thing. I wonder if it can take 80 foot pounds of torque. It absolutely cannot. <laughs> we're gonna, I mean, these tires, these wheels are plastic. It's gonna absolutely, like, we're gonna have to be very gentle on the throttle. Uh huh. Until we're ready for it to die, because it's just gonna die. <laughs> Dude. It does yeah, save for two. It is for Okay, so. Let me tell you about these two in particular. These two in particular were the beginning of Grindheart Plumbing Co. These two are best fucking friends. This guy over here in the black, he is the cameraman. He does the GoPros, he fucking edits all the videos, etc. He is the mastermind behind all these fucking projects. He is the real fucking mechanic. He like knows his shit. Uh, which is allows, which is basically what allows the both of them to make these videos. He knows his shit, obviously, or he kind, he could be, you know, his friend, but like, he knows some stuff. He just doesn't know as much as this guy. Um, so he actually does do a build, him and another dude, which if he pops up in this video, I'll point him out. But he, this guy and another dude, right, they do their own build, but they kind of have they kind of struggle a little bit without him so he knows his shit so back to the video oh, this, this is, is actually oh. premium that's the opposite of what i was gonna say oh. let me pull up the speedo app and i'll hand All it right. to you so we can see how fast we're going It has an As you just saw, that he's got a fucking uh, a um, drone and everything. Yeah, that's what those are called, a drone. I actually have one of those, uh, but I crashed it too many times, and now we have to fix it. Audiobook. Let's go! All right, is that everything? No, I'm just e I'm just easing it over the bump so I don't rip the splitter off. Oh, that's a really good idea. That's that's all of the beans. Are we even going like a registerable amount of speed? Wait, maybe blue is faster. Yeah. Wee! Here we go. Oh yeah, we're going zero. Oh, top speed it says three. No, that's probably because I moved the phone. It is probably three miles an hour. I mean, this feels like three miles an hour. All right, let's see how fast it is without me, because you're lighter than me. Oh yes, quite a bit. Wee! <laughs> I'm going top speed 5.6. Five? That's pretty fast. Yeah. I think we're about to change that. For a power wheels, that's actually yeah. that actually is pretty fast for a power wheels. When I realized that this has an actual speed controller that takes DC and converts it to AC for the um, brushless motor. I realized we have this battery laying around. It's out of some hybrid car. I just measured it and it's got 66 volts. I'm gonna see what happens when we hook up a 66 volt car hybrid battery to a um, 24 volt speed controller. It'll probably just melt all the wires, but it's gonna be really fun finding out. The oh, bullshit that, that they do from day so to day. So much room for activities. Yeah. This battery fits in there like it was built for it, so that's cool. So. Hey. Hey, oh! <laughs> well, the lights are still working. Something's smoking out the dash. The well, radio. Smoke is coming out of the USB port. Nice. <laughs> Give it the beans while it's still going. Oh, it seems yeah. like it's gonna work. That looks faster to me! Damn! Way faster! Let's go! <laughs> I honestly can't believe this works at all. <laughs> we just quintupled the voltage and the speed controller's like, yeah, whatever, we'll kind of work. There's lots of electrical melting smells. Oh, yeah. 
Well, that was exciting. I'm glad that worked. I didn't have any real idea whether it was going to just like melt immediately or not do anything, but yeah. it definitely made it like at least twice as fast. Miraculously, Bam. we didn't set anything on fire when we hooked up that big battery. So I don't think we'll be needing this anymore. Got to set something on fire. Yeet. <laughs> That's oh yeah, and they live in Idaho. So this is basically their savior when it starts snowing. At one point, it was 10 degrees over where they live. So yeah, this thing is their lifesaver. That's the guide on how to build it. The rest of this video is the Ethan guide on how to build it. Exactly. This thing does have some weight. It's got some girth. It does have a real frame, though. I mean, real is a little bit of an exaggeration, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's a few pieces of metal. My favorite part is the carbon fiber. And the, right. you know what's amazing? Is that that's actually a texture printed on the plastic. It's Or not yeah. printed, like it's textured into the it's plastic. It's not a sticker. It's not a sticker. Oh, really? That's, yep. That's oh. pretty cool. And see, these are the valve stems I was talking about. You can actually, like, get pressure. There's our brake. A real disc brake. Damn, so they went all out for this Power Wheels yeah, build. Yeah, it's actually quite stable. Adjustable tie rods with a Heim joint. This is definitely the most impressive uh, Power Wheels we've taken apart. Damn. This is our powertrain, a plug and play setup developed by Electro & Co, originally intended for electric dirt bike conversions. It has a massive 72 volt, 33 amp hour battery, and paired with this custom controller and motor, it can hit 80 to 90 foot pounds of torque. That's over double Eight. a CRF. Oh, there's Definitely Cindy. Check out there she is. That's Cindy, Cinderella. There she is. Their site. They have the coolest electric motorcycle kits on the internet. Before I get too far on adapting a sprocket to this here shaft, yeah. what I need to do is find out what direction this motor spins when we power it up with the speed controller. Yeah, all of their kits are plug and play and all of their harnesses, only the thing it's supposed to plug into, it actually plugs into. Yeah, I was noticing that as I was messing around with it a little bit. It's so nice, which is a great idea for high voltage. 70 volts is not enough to kill you, but it's still enough to hurt a lot, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something you fucking think. If you did yeah. it Jeez. Damn. That's the middle setting. <laughs> that is. Damn. You can hardly hold it wow. down. Yeah, no, it's, that's, that's. <laughs> This guy is another one of their friends who is also, as you can plainly see, uh, another cameraman. And he's holding two fucking phones right Ridiculous. now. Holy. Jeez. Damn. Look at the torque that it creates just stopping. Yeah. It really seems a shame to put this drivetrain in such something so crappy. <laughs> I think what we do is we put it in here until we destroy this thing, and then we put this in something way more deserving of its power. Why did you put a bearing in that wheel? Why would you do that? It doesn't spin. There's a bearing in a wheel that doesn't spin on its shaft. What? Oh, what a bunch of swindlers. Look, it's a bearing. What? Oh, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't... It's like today is just a day of massive boxes of electric powered fun. Ooh, it's green. This thing is so cool looking. Oh, look at the seat. This is yeah. nice. Oh, look at the headlights. You're the fucking giddy. This is the 1000 watt M20 e-bike made by the sponsor of this video, Ingwe. We're gonna use their e-bikes to film the test drive of the sleeper power wheels later in this video. Nice. This actually feels kind of like a chopper, Steven. You like it. Oh, yeah. I'm liking it already. <laughs> there you go, Steven. This is your chopper. I would actually want to have one of those to save on gas around here. Ooh. I'm impressed with the traction these tires get. And there's like a gradual throttle, like a dirt bike. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's some other e-bikes that it's like a light switch on or off and it's kind of sketchy, but this feels nice and smooth. You shall not pass. <laughs> wow. I have this, which is a large chunk of one inch solid stock. 
The easiest solution here is actually to make a new axle. Uh, I'll turn it down on the ends to match this size so that I can use these, these spacers, even the brakes, um, and more importantly, the wheels and all the adaptations there. Because obviously we could put go-kart tires under there, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of doing it with as much stock power wheels as possible. Yeah. You know how I was saying this lathe is kind of worn out? Yeah. Okay, all right. That's pretty much the size we want it to be. Oh no. <laughs> it's making a tapered shaft. That's not what we want. Part of it's because this uh -oh. is long, right? And it flexes a little bit in the middle, but that only really applies when you're pushing really hard with the tool. So if you make a few passes back and forth, it should kind of even out. It's because the middle section gets used all the time and the ends don't. So over here at the end, everything's less worn out and tighter. And then over here, there's more slop. So it just ends up like, whoop. It's, it's an old lathe. You should probably get a new one. Waiting. So let me go back, actually. That shot was really quick. So there's Cinderella, but this is also a part of another build that they were doing. Did they finish the tank or did they give up on the tank? They were doing a tank at some point. Well, I'm still waiting for the uh, power to come back so that I can use the mill. I'm tapping the ends of this because that's how the wheels attach. And then once the power comes back, I can take... Oh, no. Would you look what? at that? What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> so now once I tap these, I can uh, put it in the, in the mill and cut a keyway into it so I can key all the stuff on there and then put the bearings on, mount it up, put a chain and then go for a rip or something like that. That makes it sound a lot quicker and easier than it is, of course, but, you know. Yeah. We'll get there. Words. Drone shot of the, uh... So this is, this is exactly how fucking rowdy the, they are, right? So if I go back... So they got a fucking treehouse with a boardwalk, right? A fucking bridge that, mind you, doesn't have any fucking rope. No rope. And then a fucking zip line, which he's using right now. See, they got fucking zip lines and shit. They got a big ass property. What you need you guys down, I'm sorry. This is actually exciting. This is the first time I've used the mill to cut a keyway which is, you know, one of the main things you'd want to do with a mill. I have my quarter inch key stock here and this fresh quarter inch cutter. So now I just have to get it all lined up and figure out the depth. We'll just do a nice little pass at a time. We've got the keyways cut into both sides of this, which means that now we can go like this and then put this on there. Nice. And then we can put these on there. And then we can put this on there. There's a lot of things that go on there. I'm gonna <laughs> see if you see what's wrong with this picture. Um, well, that's not spinning on the bearing, it's just spinning around the... The bearing's just there to hold the space. But what they did is they made the front and rear wheels, wheels identical. So they didn't have to make two different kinds of wheel. Oh. And then they just... And that they... bearing, all that does is center it. It could just be a piece of bushing or it could be a piece of heavy plastic. That seems more expensive to make it just a bushing. Well, it's probably a lot less expensive than making two different molds. And then I have some ah, yeah. bearings. That makes sense. Bearing housings that I scrounged up from our piles of scrap. I have three options and none of them match, so, you know, that's 
Good. So you're gonna have to make your own, right? Or no? On today's episode of Overkill Engineering, <laughs> we have a CAD file for making a mount for these things. Mm -hmm. So that I can mount this to this frame. Yep, that makes sense. They got this thing in a sponsor, and this has helped them recently so much. Instead of having made, to make expense or like really complicated parts like that, they could just put it in a computer and just fucking cut it out. Is your birthday today, actually? Yeah. I'm old. Officially. Making better decisions. <laughs> Hold up a second, Will. Where's your phone at? No! Oh. So this guy, right? This guy is the guy I was talking about. Um, he helped the other dude with the project and etc. that I showed you in uh, later. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. But he has broken nine fucking phones and had to switch providers because the provider that he did have in which he broke the nine phones from uh, refused to help him anymore because he broke nine phones. So he had to switch providers. And every the reason why he broke the nine phones was because he always put it in the back pocket. So every single time he puts his back phone in the back pocket, they they do frequent like, hey, where's your phone? Hey, where's your phone? Hey, where's your phone? If it's in his back pocket, he's got to do 10 push ups. Oh. Should have done this before putting these on the axle, but here we are. very premium and uh, I can weld a little bit on this side and then weld a little on the back side of course I have to get some paint off of it first next time we see you with your phone in your pocket no. <laughs> oh no no all right what we're doing is installing some firewood in our car oh nice as like an inverted hood prop now I can set the motor in there and gravity will keep it in place. Oh, nice. That's, that's going forward, right? The tires are spinning that way. Mm -hmm. The ground's going this way. That's okay. Just double checking. Yep. <laughs> just making sure I'm not losing it. Uh, I have some bad news for you. Oh! It's a spicy Pac-Man. I need a bigger one that's going to come alive. Oh wait, well this isn't the Pac-Man, it's the ghost. Yeah. Another day, another power wheel. We got some different sizes of sprockets, a hub, and another one of these doodads to hold that other bearing properly. It's quite plausible to have a test drive later today. Oh, that would be premium. You know, some burnouts in the shop. Oh, this thing needs front brakes. So you can just do a brake stand and just roast the tires. <laughs> yeah, if I grind out some of the plastic underneath that, I should be able to just swing the motor down until that chain's reasonably tight. And this is just their pro process. Just the whole process is, is this a secondary motor mount slash frame reinforcement bar. So it'll go from here to here, underneath the axle, and then it'll bolt to probably two of these bolt holes here, ideally. Oh, I hear Red Oops. around. Just pushing this closer to me. then that doesn't really give any adjustability for the chain, but I'm not too worried about it because it's such a short chain, it'll stay tight enough to work. On today's episode of Extreme Over Engineering, there's Excuse my uh, motor mount plate. This is how I enjoy life, is by making things incredibly overly complicated. This yeah, but it's strong. If it didn't have hexagons. It really wouldn't have been, you know? 
Hexagons are the thing now. Hexagons are apparently extremely fucking strong. And by really close, I mean super far away. The problem is, I I was looking at my tape with my head held upside down, and I read the number on the wrong side of the number. Ah. There you go. Just get that fixed up. It works excellent as a slag knife, though. Look at that. Just knocks right right off of there. I think I can make it work. Where's your phone, Will? No! Again? Bro! bro. I saw you with that look on your face. You have a little phone. You wouldn't know the struggles. <laughs> oh, good. Just like, where's your phone? up the speed controller and battery and watch it spin also there's still a little bit of flex over here simply because of trying to weld structural components to a power wheels chassis mm -hmm. you can see this whole bar here just kind of wiggles um which i can reinforce that but i just kind of want to see how much it moves when the motor loads up Ooh. That's Ooh. Cool, right from front to back. Damn! That's gonna be insanely quick. They're gonna fucking... They're gonna destroy those fucking tires, dude. Oh, I'm still having a little bit of flex in this bar, so I just went hunting in the scrap pile and I found this piece of scrap that is the perfect length. Put a little notchy, dippy thing in there so that I can make another one for the other side of the motor because um, it's just not becoming rigid in the way I want it to be. Mm -hmm. Helps if you plug in the air hose. <laughs> yep. See all the fucking the tools and shit they got. They got a fucking big ass table. They got a lathe. They got belt sander. Well, what? Oh, no. again? I'm not doing it. I this. swear I you're doing it on I'm purpose. I'm not doing it on purpose. I don't want to. You do just this. want to be jacked and you want to no. make everyone laugh. That's my hypothesis. I don't, want to, I don't want to be jacked. Wait, want to be jacked? I want to be able to slither into tight places. And if you're jacked, you can't do that. There's like medium levels of jacked, Will. Look at that. He's going to like. They're right. He's going to build muscle, dude. He's gonna build muscle. Keith keeps. Got a couple little tabs I'm laying around. Bolted onto there. So what about that is? Right there. Which points the cables straight up to the front. Is that the battery holder thingy? Or no? Oh, that's smart. That's smart as hell. Damn. They're like, he's really good at this shit, dude. Set up. Remove these disc brakes because we don't need them. And ah, I'm gonna have to all the way disassemble it because I also have to put this in the mill and cut another key keyway for this. Yeah. I really started enjoying this project uh, once it was an excuse to use the mill. Yep. I have a problem. We're going to have to have like a, you guys are probably going to have to have a hexagon intervention for me at some point, but <laughs> not yet. Not today. Just so many fucking hexagons everywhere, dude. That works alarmingly well. 
Now that's what we call luck. Now he's got a slag knife. It fits over the end of that bolt. Oh. Nice. Check it out. We got brakes. Look at that. Oh, it's a disc brake. That's why it's called a disc brake. Does this fit back on? Ultimate sleeper mode engaged. So I have a theory here. This is the throttle that we uh, got with this kit from Electro & Co. It's a cable actuated throttle, uh, which is perfect for most situations because you can run it with anything. But I've looked at the wires coming out of the throttle that came in this. This came with a speed controller that would have functioned rather similarly to this one, just less premium. Mm. Uh, it has three wires coming from its pedal that are the same colors as these three wires. Mm. Now, check the throttle panel here. Aha! Smart. Yeah, look at that. It's even variable, so I can do a light throttle. Low speed action. Awesome. Fucking sending it, dude. Well, that works. Awesome. Now I don't actually have to make a new throttle. I can just use the one that's built into it. We'll put this on a shelf somewhere. Oh it. yeah. See, he's fucking. Uh, he's an electrician. They're actual. Pl well. They're not an actual, you know, plumbing corporation, but they do plumbing because, you know, pipes and shit in the bottom of the cars and stuff. Yeah, look at that. Now I can actually... Fucking getting it right now. Right here. Very nice. After uh, a bit of frustration with trying to bleed these brakes and get them to work, I discovered that the master cylinder that I had chosen out of the box of random brake parts was... um not really working right even after being bled it wasn't really pushing any fluid so maybe it's just worn out who knows it's a mystery part but i found another one off of a different machine that uh i think actually has the same mounting bolt spacing so excuse me jesus christ it on. and it has a remote reservoir so i had to dig around <laughs> gross we'll see if this works right it's, uh, it's a brembo so you know and the new master cylinder works now that i have everything covered in brake fluid <laughs> myself Brakes are done. Nice. Which means all I have to do now is find a place to mount this switch up inside the uh, inside there. There's something extra hilarious about working on this one. Like it's always funny working on a little teeny tiny car as if it's as if it's a real car. But because this one's still so much closer to the like, it doesn't have anything on it that makes it look bigger you know it doesn't have a yeah it's too big or an engine sticking out of the hood it's just a tiny tiny car but i'm putting brembo brakes in it because <laughs> it's a sleeper build you now wouldn't think anything of it that might almost be space for the battery Let's see nice. and that's about as far forward weight as you're gonna get yeah balance out the uh, motors in the back <laughs> okay. Ooh -hoo. test drive it's test drive time Yep, reverse okay. works. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this yeah, thing's gonna no. fucking sad it, dude. Right. That was like probably just a feather too, huh? This thing oh, is going to hard. fucking send it. And that's with zero PSI in the tires. Zero PSI? 22 max, so we'll go to like 15 or something. Seems like a good medium. I love that these just actually have air in them. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> this is level one. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Don't mind me, officer. I'm just cruising in my kid's Power Wheels toy. It's completely unmodified. <laughs> <laughs> completely unmodified. Uh-huh. They're going to tear those tires the fuck up, dude. Oh, dude. That thing sent it, dude. <laughs> These bikes are going to be excellent for filming the electric power wheels rip around because they're silent, but fast. Oh. Filming the electric power wheels rip around because... They also, right, so here's another Jeep. 
that they call the Colonel. Um, there's this is an actual fucking like motorcycle, like a highway motorcycle. They put fucking skis on it, and then they made a tiny boat, an actual working tiny Barbie boat, and it fucking rips, dude. It fucking rips. They're silent. There's so many projects but that now, you guys can just so come like go and binge watch, dude. And it looks freaking sweet. It's also got full suspension. We got front shocks, rear shocks, and these massive four inch wide fat tires ripping around in the snow and sand and mud. And it's got dual batteries, which gives you a range of up to 50 miles. I don't well, like I feel a lot. without pedaling. It's the great thing about I, don't, I actually don't like, like this, the fact that there's a battery right, right at your crotch that could explode at any moment. Disc brakes in the front and rear as well, and it has a seven speed shifter for when you're feeling like using the pedals. It's got this dual headlight. Turn that on. Look at that. It's got this uh, LCD display here to tell you how fast you're going and to select your power modes and all that. And it even has a tail light with a brake light. Nice. So you'll be safe when you're cruising around town. This message is approved by Safety Steve. has multiple color options about this super cool green color you can also get it in black or white i think i'd get it in white click the link in our description and sign up for a chance to win a brand new m20 e-bike and helmet set engway has a bunch of good deals available right now like the m20 early bird price where you can get 150 dollars off the bike single battery version and 200 dollars off the dual battery version Damn. use code Engway M2200 to get this deal. Engway also sent us the Engine Pro. This one folds up so it can fit into a smaller space. Oh. Like the back of your Subaru. I was just about to say that. You can't fit a normal size bike in a normal size car. Yeah, look at how much more compact that is. Ew. This is a high end Porsche. All right, well, just so this is on camera, I got dibs on that bike. Oh. Okay, you can use that bike, but I want to try it. It's <laughs> way awesome. Fucking dude. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> so what's closer, the fast food drive-thru or your bank? Fast food and then bank. They're both pretty close. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> dude, that thing fucking rips already, dude. Yeah, nice. <laughs> what dude Lucas. fucking ribs dude that thing is an actual that fucking fiend <laughs> dude full power mode let's go let's fucking get it so I don't just wheelie off the line. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Fucking stew. That go. thing rips, dude. Oh. Holy shit. So quick. Yeah, the bumper came off. Or not the I bumper, but the... Tape. The fucking... Yeah, that's not gonna hold. Always bring duct tape for grind hard trips. Always bring duct tape. Anywhere you go is my life lesson. Falling for a speedometer app. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Dude, that thing fucking sends right past cars. And I, those dudes are, those people are probably like, what the 40. fuck? <laughs> 40 miles an hour, like bro. You go much faster than that until we upgrade the steering and brakes. Yeah, no, I don't want to, but I think it would do 60. Easily. Dude. 60. Oh yeah, that was I was that, that was nowhere near top speed. That was just Dude. Me being comfortable. You Ooh. crash in that thing and it, that's going to hurt. You crash in that motherfucker, that's going to hurt like hell, dude. That's going to hurt like fuck if you crash. They're going through the fucking drive through. That's funny as hell, dude. <laughs> dude. 
Um, can I get uh, two uh, regular uh, curly fries, regular uh, root beer? All right, that's gonna be your total second window. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Seven the That's correct. Alrighty, hey, it always makes me laugh when the uh, when the amount is a year. <laughs> There's a lot of, of numbers that could be that, but I don't know why it always makes me chuckle. Here you go. Hope you have yourself a wonderful day. Stay safe. Thank you. <laughs> In that video, just no fucking question, just none at all. Just don't question it. Very premium. Yes, please. They just got smashed by a helmet, but oh, that's fine. He wasn't even phased. That guy didn't no. care at all. Not at all. <laughs> That's like he sees these things all the time. Why, how many people do this? And how do you not react to that? No reaction whatsoever, dude. He's probably freaking out right now, though. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Damn. <laughs> go hit the bank real quick. Bruh. What about going to the bank? Is the free candy? Peach mango. That's funny as hell. Man, you guys should film me doing my errands more often. I I never get a chance to come to town during the week. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's open on the weekends. This is premium. That's funny. That's fucking great. He's using fucking hand turning signals. He's legitimately driving on the fucking road and it, he's fucking sending it, dude. He's legitimately like driving, like actually driving. That, had to be 50. that was premium. Dude, they're gonna fuck up that steering system too, dude. Dude, these bikes are awesome for hauling around our equipment. Oh yeah, dude, it rides nice. Brakes are pretty good. He's a really good cameraman. Look at that. You can really point a camera. Like so far, I haven't crashed yet. It looks like I crashed, but I just got yeeted in mud. Yeah, that's <laughs> bad. <laughs> I don't think you realized how fast the tires were spinning. Oh, they were spinning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I get most of it off my face? No, you're covered, dude. Oh, covered. All right. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That thing is Jeez. fucking booking it, dude. I actually can't believe it's that good. I can't either, dude. Dude, the mountains in the background look dope. And hear the police come. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Just pretend you're normal for a little bit. That's funny. That's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, we took it through a drive-thru, we're taking it to the bank. Yeah, <laughs> they know Will. I mean, actually, it's completely original. I haven't topped it out, and I don't think I will. It, it would probably do 60. Yeah, it's too fast. Thank you. <laughs> it's so cool when the the police actually like. We're taking the bike path home. Officer said, uh, "Don't put it on the streets," and we'll obviously respect his wishes. Go back to Lucas's parking lot and have some fun. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. <laughs> And that's like a legitimate like street too. Like that's a legitimate like the biking paths are perfect size for that fucking car, dude. So it's like you're actually driving on a street and it's so it's so cool. That's so dope. I would want to do that. I would actually legitimately want to do that. How much time do we have left on the video? Let's say like 20 minutes or 10 minutes ish.
I think I'll just straight up upload this one. I don't need to uh, edit it or anything. The ride quality does leave a bit to be desired. In the car on a road that's like the same size. <laughs> That's dope, dude. You're fucking getting it, dude. Yeah. That thing fucking gets this it, is the dude. Most fun I've ever had on a mini bike. <laughs> Just chasing me. Chasing you, it's like I'm chasing a Porsche in a, G a, G a Moto GP. Yeah. Like, that's what it feels like. <laughs> the steering was just a little bit better in this thing. Dude, I couldn't imagine. I would never go as fast as you're going right now. Yeah, very few people would. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went the way. Dude. That thing is dope as hell. Up uh, wheelies. And of course, this is exactly where they live. How did it feel out there going fast? Ooh. Um, frightening. But luckily, I don't think my amygdala really works, so we're fine. <laughs> Riding my bike behind Ethan in this thing was scary. <laughs> Ooh, wheelies. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna die. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> Dude. Oh, something broke. Something broke. This one? Yeah, it's gonna be amazingly fun. Like it feels so race car-y, it's insane. Yeah, you just accidentally gave it caster, Edwin. <laughs> what the fuck? Better. Lucas just finished doing the wiring on that Humvee for his shop. He does speaker systems, remote starts, all kinds of wiring stuff, anything you could think of. At SMS Auto and Marine in Sandpoint. We're gonna uh, try to tow it with this. And also use it as an anchor to do some burnouts, because we don't have front brakes, so we need something to anchor us down. How much do you think that weighs? I don't know, 100, 120 pounds maybe. How much do you think that weighs? Uh, those weigh around 7,000. Damn! Do you think it'll tow it? I to this, I weigh 160, so what? You think it'll tow it? Yeah, 100%. It's yeah, about the most premium thing that's ever pulled a Humvee. <laughs> if this thing moves that 7,000 pound vehicle, I'm going to be so impressed with those dwindle tires. Dude. <laughs> oh, we have to drive one of those across the country for our next video. Limo video part two. Two Humvees, us four idiots, premium. I call dibs on riding with Ethan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's literally, it is towing the damn thing. <laughs> that is dope. That is dope as hell. Dude. That is ridiculous. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's how you tow a 7,000 pound military vehicle with a 200 pound electric power wheel. That is dope as fuck, that's dude. probably the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, probably. Oh that was amazing. That was dope. Back that up and do that again except put that in park and we'll just burn these tires until they explode. I didn't really know how well that was gonna work. It worked so much better than I thought it could ever have worked. That like, was amazing. He got to the point where he was slowing down. He was pulling it too fast yeah. for us to take pictures. That 
Dude. It fucking burnt rubber that entire way. Oh, there you go. Oh, they're shredding those fucking tires. They are shredding the shit out of those tires. Yeah, those tires don't work no more, dude. The plastic on it's fucked. Now they're just drifting with the damn thing. Steven, is this the first time you've driven any of the power wheels? The power wheels? Yeah. They just tore that fucking thing up. That poor car. <laughs> Probably fun as shit, though. Dude. They're just fucking it up in the front of the fucking... They have to clean every, all of that up, though. Dude. This is a grind hard crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Lucas is, uh, is, you know, cool with this. I've never had one of these, like, GoPro bib editions on me, but, <laughs> like, I cannot figure out how to get this thing off. <laughs> well, that was extremely successful of a test and extremely fun. The whole point was that this was always going to be a temporary setup, and we're going to upgrade it to full go-kart wheels and tires later. So, oh fuck yeah! Absolutely destroyed them. The only thing we actually broke that the problem is this fender here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. but now can... it looks like a drift car. It is a drift it's car. It's a missile car. It's a drift missile now. Yeah. The Enway bikes were the perfect support vehicle for this video. We couldn't have done it without their support. So definitely check them out below. And don't. I I'm not gonna put them below. Go to their video and then check them out. And their video, which is, you know, you know. I think we're gonna get to making this thing able to take the power with a lot better steering, and it is gonna be absolutely insane. Oh Shout fuck yeah, it is! For sending us this awesome powertrain. Next time, let's we'll yeah. go grocery shopping and put. I have. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Plenty of room in here. There is a little. Full bit of K on this video. And also, thanks to Lucas for letting us absolutely destroy his parking lot. Now we have to go get some brooms and clean it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, those tires are fucked. That is fucking funny. I got some new bling. <laughs> fucking dumbass. Well, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. If you liked the video, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Hit the, uh, hit the notification bell so you're always notified of another one of my videos. There's going to be a link to my Patreon, my Discord, and this video in the description down below. There's a three dollar. $3 and a $6 option for my Patreon. Every, no, sorry. Everything I make on my Patreon and eventually hopefully YouTube will go directly into making every single video that much better for you guys. And with that being said, I will see all you guys 